All right, I'll be honest. This one might take me a minute because I don't remember what I did. So we'll see how we go. Obviously, we want to select female and we want the type C battle type because that's what's going to allow us to do Naruto stuff. For the body, I think I went for a slightly taller female, probably about there because she was slightly shorter than Neji if I remember correctly. For the body type, I would either go two or three away from the center towards Max um, because she is a little bit heavier than your standard Naruto character. Um, I'm gonna go with two notches away from the center. I think that's about right. For the chest, I think we're just gonna leave it uh, exactly at default. That seems about right to me. Uh, for skin color, I wish we had something a little bit more pale to match. Actually, you could go one down. That's slightly more pale. Yeah, if you go one down, that's uh, that's gonna be more pale. Now for the hairstyle, of course you wanna go to the Hinata style head style. It's the one next to Light Yagami's and above Ryuk's. Now, this is the part that is going to be hard to remember because I forget what I exactly did. Okay, so now I remember what I did. So you want to go with these two color options here, and then you want the percentage to be around about here, right above the H on highlights. And that is quite a few notches away from the center. It's one, two, three, four away from the center. And there you go. There you've got your Hanata hair. It's quite dark, um, which is the exact effect we're going for. Of course, we want it to be darker because... Hinata's hair is basically black with a little bit of blue mixed in. In fact, we would prefer it to be darker than this, but you can't really get darker than this. So this is what we're going with. Hinata has quite thin and straight eyebrows that don't go out very far. I think I'm going to go with this one. As far as the color is concerned, you basically want a black, but I'm going to go for this very, very dark blue. Hinata has kind of a circular-ish eye, like a very rounded out eye. This is pretty close to what it is, but we'd like bigger if we could. Yeah, I think this is the best option you have. The eyelashes are a bit too thick for what we want, and they go all the way around, which is not really what Hinata has, but again, it's about the closest option we have. For the pupils, uh, this is where we get to have a little bit of fun because it's the whole Hugo thing. You can decide whether you want a larger one or a smaller one. I think both works. Anything but this really, really tiny one here. I'm going to go with the largest one because... I think it matches Hinata them. For the color, I think you want to go for this color here. It's the brightest shade of pink, which kind of comes off as a shaded purple, um, which is exactly what the Hugas have. So that's what we're going to go with. So again, the same thing, the largest one, and there you go. So Hinata's face is a little bit more rounded than most female characters. I think this one's the best option. It's the second one on the first rug. Now that we have that, we can go back to our nose here and try and get a closer match. Again, we want something small, but we also want something pretty far up from the lip. Normally, I would say that, but it's a bit too uh, close, and that seems a bit too rounded, maybe? Okay, yeah, we're going to go with this one. Okay, so the one particular image I was looking at of Hinata that had these eyebrows that we have currently equipped, um, she was quite angry at the time, so that's why her eyebrows were shaped like that. I think this one is a much better match for Hinata. Um, it's kind of her natural state. It's... So we're going to go with that, um, which is the second row, third option. And we're going to make that a bit of a darker blue. See if we can make the blue come out a little bit. We're going to go the second darkest blue. Uh, there we go. For voice, honestly, I don't spend a lot of time trying to match the voice. So you can decide what's best for you. I'm personally going to go with option number six, which sounds like this. All right, now we can proceed and we can go on to the clothing options and what moves you should use. So unfortunately, we don't have any of Hinata's clothing in the game right now. They might add it in the future, though. So the closest thing we can go for is her war arc design, where she's wearing the standard Leaf Village attire. So that's what we're going for. Uh, so we're going to go with Kakashi's jacket, uh, which looks like that. For the bottoms, we're actually going to go with this gray pair of Naruto pants. It doesn't match the black that she wears, but it is the closest thing we can get. For the feet, we're actually just going to leave on the default Naruto shoes. Now, I personally don't like doing this, but this is something you could do. You could equip these stockings here in order to simulate the bandages that run up the top of the Naruto character's legs. Again, personally, I don't like that, so I won't be doing that here. If you don't know how to access this menu, you just hold down Y or triangle. It will bring up your map and you can actually fast travel to certain locations. So if you travel over to the Naruto area, specifically the shop counter, you'll be able to get some of the items we need. So you want the gray Naruto pants, which are right here. So this is where you get the Kakashi jacket. It's right here in the main lobby. You don't have to go off to any of the other areas. I don't actually know where you get the shoes from. I think every character might get them by default because I can't find them anywhere in the shops. If that's not the case, please let me know in the comment section so that I can pin your comment 
and other people will be able to locate the shoe. All right, so now you know how to get all the cosmetics you're going to need for Hinata. Let's get into the actual moves you're going to need. For our first ability here, we're going to go with 100 Rendering Fist. Of course, this is meant to simulate 8 Trigram 64 Palms. For option number two, we're going to go with Heaven, Splitting, Life, or Death. This is another Kenshiro move, and it's meant to simulate 8 Trigram's Air Palms. Now, Special 3 is the biggest stretch of the imagination. We're going to go with Perfect Barrier. This is, of course, one of Cell's moves, but we're using it to replicate the effect of an 8 Trigram's Palm Rotation. It's a very big palm rotation, but it's a palm rotation nonetheless. And finally, for our awakening technique, we're going to go with Battle Grief, which I'm sure you saw coming a mile away. Oh, I should mention before I go, two of these moves can actually be customized via the element system, and that's the 8 trigrams air palms and the 64 palm rotation, which is, of course, actually perfect barrier and heaven splitting life or death. I've changed both of these elements to be the ice element because I think it most reflects what the moves should be. So there you go. There's my Hinata Hyuga. Please let me know in the comment section what you think of my Hinata Hyuga. Let me know if you're going to go ahead and create your own Hinata Hyuga because of it. Some of you have already been doing this because of the CAC series, but feel free to tweet me your own CAC creations. I love seeing that stuff. It's really cool to me. Someone sent me a really good Sakura early today which I thought was pretty awesome. Sakura may or may not be one of the CSEs I'm working on right now as well. I've got a bunch of CSEs in the works, some of them a little bit easy and some of them a little bit hard, and I'm not sure which order I should put them out in. So let me know which ones you want to see in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to prioritize those. Thank you so much for watching. If you could subscribe to keep up to date with future content, I very much appreciate that. Leave a like on the video, it helps other people find it. My name is Bilbsy, and I'll see you in the next video.